One thing I like about the role model trainings is there's a heavy focus on anatomy and biomechanics. The science of rolling is how it's impacting the soft tissue and it goes into detail about the anatomy and the physiology. The role model trainings have a really specific way of delivering anatomy, embodied anatomy. I think it's actually uh, probably one of the best ways to learn anatomy because of how kinesthetic it is. And we do a little bit of art on each other. We actually draw bony prominences and bony landmarks all over the body. And so this helps us to, to have a grid of seeing. But ultimately, the therapy balls are what teaches your body to feel. If you put a ball on a specific body part and you name that body part a muscle, a tissue, you're a lot more apt to understand the nature of that body part, to understand what it is, where it is, and what it does. It's a tactile way of learning that makes sense, that if you put the ball on your infraspinatus and then you externally rotate your shoulder, you know exactly where the muscle is and then you can tell exactly what it's doing. And then you don't have to memorize, you can visualize it and you can feel it and that's how you learn. We talk a lot about pain, different theories around pain and pain management and what causes pain and what's good pain and what's bad pain. It is a complete body map of yourself to understand yourself through the use of therapeutic touch. And better embodiment means that you actually know where soft tissues are located on your body and their associated joints. You'll have a whole toolbox with how to um, treat, you, treat yourself. It opens up a whole new world, a new world of movement, a new world of self-care. The applications are across all demographics and the people who are brave enough to do it to want to help other people, those are the people who should come to those trainings.